What is up with y'all boys, man? It is your boy Jaws. We is back with another fight night video, man. We about to get right. If y'all didn't miss the last episode, make sure y'all go check it out. We got revenge on that one Mexican fighter. I don't remember his name, but I did him dirty in one round with one punch. Make sure y'all go check out that full episode. Yeah, man, we back on here though. About to keep getting right. If you're new to the channel, make sure you like the video. Subscribe to the channel as well. We on the road to the big 900 subscribers. But any support is appreciated. Let's hop right back in the ring and get right. All right, I warm up, lock in. Let's get it, man. Lock in. Come on, fighting right now. Knock Stewart out with a right hand. of this fight for Andre Bishop against Reggie Stewart. Of course, the first moments since that broken right hand he suffered against Meldrick Johnson. So everybody will want to see how useful Bishop is with that right hand. Andre Bishop has always been known as a fast fighter. He's had that hand speed as a middleweight. And now it's Dumbass. transferred into his heavyweight yeah, I love days as he lands you know. the hook there. Mm. How about that left right there? And he's clinching. Fuck. Fuck. He's clinching. Damn it, bro. I could have knocked him. Like he's double clinching. You're a pussy, bro. I'm about to beat that. Oh, that was perfect. I could have won round of those in But y'all see how weak he is. Y'all see first round I got him looking at. Here's a good example of how he feels about Counter punching is, is meta, bro. I swear. Throw one. Let make him throw and open up your guard. Back up. Stewart's a smart we, fighter, and in doing so, the smart thing to do for him would be to utilize his jab. He's got a good one. Yeah, and he's confident with it. See, it's one thing having a good one. You know how many people out there are good at certain things, but they don't have the confidence. They don't know it. He knows that he's good with Ref, it. Ref, move. That's what kind key. of camera angle is that? A headshot block. Well, this referee angle is, is stupid, bro. Look at the back of his nappy ass head. Early on, when you're analyzing a fight of two power punchers facing off against each other, that gives you a clue as to which way this is going. Dumbass. Who's doing the little things a little bit better? Who's using the jab? Who's controlling range? Hey, who's thinking better? Bro, this camera, this camera angle is annoying. See with the right. He Ooh. is not in good shape. He could be on the deck in moments. Nice defense. Good I'm block. I'm spamming that right. Stewart. Oh, he's so lucky, bro. Stewart's doing a good job of being strong on his feet right now. He was rocked in that last round, but his opponent doesn't appear to be seeing any damage standing opposite him. Scores up top with a left. <laughs> Takes one but gives one. I'm gonna get knocked out. Hold on. Andre Bishop. He said he was Dumbass boy. From the outside and now he's oh, knock his bitch ass out. Oh, he goes God, God. Right, did I do it? Got a real I have to win the fight? Or like... Plenty of time for his opponent to jump on him. Now he's gone. Impressive. All week long. Did I, did I win? Did I do the mission correctly? I used my right. Andre Bishop. He just knocked out Reggie Stewart with that right hand. Yeah, I did it right. I'm up. Bang. Bang time. Bang time. Bang time. Where's where's Isaac Newton at? I'm gonna beat his ass. I can't wait to be catching him. Which Bishop brother hits harder? That's your question. Get these people. Well, neither one of them can punch like me. I can guarantee you that. I can't wait to beat the two his of ass. Them? Well, I'd say little Andre hits harder. I mean, the jailbird's washed up now. I mean, he was a genuine contender. But the big baby. Well, the big baby has always been a pretender. Rocky. They was, they was eating with them transitions back then in 2008. I ain't gonna cap. From the Thomas and Mack Center here in Las Vegas, we present heavyweight action. Joe Tessitore and Teddy Atlas. Am I fighting gang status up? The feed him? No, no qualifications. I got to do the feed him. I love this. I like that. Oh, no, there's blood over the right eye. Of me? Andre Bishop is now in a tough spot. Well, what happened? Gonna have to take it's the first care round. He's going to have to stop that bleeding. But that has to serve as a warning of things to come. Be aware now. Be better. Man. 
That music kind of epic, y'all. We got it. We got it to you. Bishop able to mm -hmm. land solidly against Cooper. Mm -hmm. Teddy, you see that cut right there? When you're in a spot like that, do you tell your charge, hey, go after it, worse than that cut? No, actually, I don't, because obviously he did something right to open it up to begin with. Just keep doing those things right, setting it up. If you look for only that, you forget the things that got you there. Good right hand by Andre Bishop. He needs more of that. Hmm. Tall Banging guy out. versus short guy here tonight in front of us. Teddy, why does it seem so hard sometimes that some tall fighters don't necessarily fight tall? Because, Joe, it takes great discipline to stay on the outside. You look at him, you say, hey, you're tall. I wish Rocked I was him. tall like I'm that. But me. now it takes Rocking restraint, niggas. control to stay in those quarters to mm, make sure you don't give right, in know. and allow the shorter he guy to, return to, to get close. Now that looks like a middleweight fighting a heavyweight there. Look at the hand speed from Bishop. And that's exactly the advantage he was going to need coming into this fight. Mm, Counterpoint. That's great stuff. He fires one right back. I know he weaved the fuck out that punch. I know the word by Andre Bishop. Just keep your head moving. Now you know why a lot of folks like this heavyweight version of Andre Bishop. Look at what he can do with that left hand. Good one-two from Bishop. He landed that right hand mm -hmm. flush I'm banging Cooper. his ass up. I don't want no smoke, bro. Cooper's mm. got it cut. It looks like it's below the eye on the cheek, but it's something that needs I'm to be I'm banging him up, y'all. This dude looks like the classic dude you see like at a bagel right store on a Sunday. Bishop. Don't that let Cooper hit the cut too many times, okay? So there's complications there. You know, some so. fighters handle punches but right. bang his ass they get up. tested, you know, they get dropped, they get up, but they get cut. They don't handle that. They panic. We're going to find out now his mental state, how strong he is in that area. Does he handle this the way he needs to? Now Bishop mm -hmm. looking to counter Cooper. Yeah, I see the counter punch. Right I'm hand over Cooper's this is connecting. Cooper's defense is paying off now. Hits him in the mug with the right. Mm-hmm. Banged his ass up. Dumbass. No, I don't run. Parries that punch in the head. Good, good. It's one thing for the corner of Andre Bishop to tend to that cup between rounds, but Bishop himself has to protect it, and he's doing a good job of blocking punches that are targeting it from Cooper. Halfway through round number two. Mm. A well-timed right hand by Andre Bishop. Good jab by Cooper. Cooper's getting himself into the mix now, landing that left hand. Oh, what an mm. uppercut. Toe-to-toe -to -toe there. Both fighters got in on him. Now he places that. It's reset right after every body. round. Give credit to Dwight Cooper. Oh, he I has gone on the attack against that cut over the eye of Andre Bishop. He's trying to earn himself a TKO victory here. Great combination from Bishop. He's getting competitive, y'all. Well, he got Bishop a shot too, though. Together a few is it reset? Like that. It does. All right, bad, bad, bad. But he looks like a confident fighter. All that amateur background is hey, really showing. Let's go. This is exactly what Andre Bishop's corner has been telling him. You gotta keep those hands up. You have to protect that cut. He cannot allow Cooper to have a target to go after. I'm tripping, I'm tripping. Mm -hmm. And now just wasting everybody's time holding on. I keep throwing accidental double uppercuts. It's taking away all my stamina. Stupid. Good work Stupid. defensively by Andre Bishop. Plus, he landed that counter punch. Yeah, and he forced him to punch. He made him, he drew it out of him, and then he timed him beautifully. Coming to the halfway point of this third round. 
you know Andre Bishop's trainer is going to be really thrilled to see him do that there. He doesn't want to see his fighter get hit too much tonight. That was a nice block. We are banging out, y'all. Bishop's got to deal with a cut sheet. Yeah. You can see Andre Bishop now is employing a lot of defense. He has those hands up high trying to protect that cut eye. Mm -hmm. Andre Bishop's winning the fight to me based on his overall speed. He's just the faster, quicker fighter, and it's making it so that he's able to employ his ways and get the best of his opponent. Oh, he has that physical asset, no doubt about it. You can see it, but he has to be careful that he doesn't get carried away. He doesn't get reckless with that speed. Getting competitive, y'all. I think Fight Night's videos are the videos I talk the least, bro. I'm so locked in. I ain't trying to get knocked out, bro. So I apologize. I'm going to be talking that much. Y'all, y'all just might as well be just as locked in as me, bro. That's been very entertaining, but I wouldn't want to be a judge. This is one of those fights that could go either way. <laughs> Bishop with a nice combination, a good old one-two landing on Dwight Cooper. <laughs> Cooper's jab can do so move. much there. He used it well that time. <laughs> he returns the favor with a right hand of his own. There's Cooper putting out that jab. You can see the trouble that Bishop has had with it. <laughs> Halfway through round number four. And now he's acting like a fighter. Coming back with the right hand after getting scored upon. Able to get away from that headshot with the block. Bishop now utilizing that jab against Cooper. Teddy, there are opportunities that are here for him, aren't there? Yeah, counterpunch opportunities because he's got an opponent who's walking in a little bit. Now he has a chance to start to chuck something back at him a little. Keep your head moving. You see mm. how quickly he pulls the trigger on the hook after that block? A little head hunting with the right. Hey, That's classic work up. with the double jab. Move. Nice strike after catching one by Andre Bishop. Ten seconds to go in this round. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left hand scores. Round five, round and five. The end of round four. I'm glad they reset because I would have been lost by now. Turn the sender with the left hand. I want to stand it back. Oh. Pose, pose. Solid right by Andre Bishop. You know, there's a lot to like with Andre Bishop, but right now. I don't like the way he looks in terms of his conditioning. No, he looks like he's slowing down a little bit. And you got to wonder if it's a little mental, too. He got a little discouraged that his opponent is still there. His opponent wanted the body. He wouldn't give it to him. Still plenty of time to work here in round number five. Minute and a half to go. Turns over that hook upstairs. Cooper's mm. so dangerous with that accuracy. A two-punch combination landing. Cover Covers up, up nicely. Cover up. Gets rid of his opponent's body shot. Oh, and he returns. I don't like connecting them bitches. Oh, I... That's a good job by Bishop offensively. Landing his combinations is a key to victory tonight. 
Final 10 seconds of this fifth round. Comes right back at him with a left hand. He missed that shit completely. Uh, stamina gonna be a real issue now. I ain't gonna lie. Here we are getting ready for the second Banger. half of this fight as we've reached the sixth round. Good work. Solid left hand to the head. Stupid. Mm, I was hoping that knocked him out. Keep your distance. Bishop's defense. Is it ever good? Look at how easy he's able to block those punches. Good clean shot returning fire. Well done. He didn't got stamina. Bishop. Well, it's a tough moment. So he don't got stamina Bishop right now. He's hurt. I can hear his corner saying spit out your mouthpiece. They're just looking for So he don't got stamina like he's just puts him down. Bro, like he's just swinging and swinging and swinging. So he don't got stamina too. Like, bro, what am I watching? No, he just like would not stop swinging. He's been down outside the ring before and gotten up to. But they bring that up every time I get knocked down. Because he has survived very difficult things outside the ring, and he is thinking of that right now. Believe me. Thank you. Man. This is a real. Bro, this guy has no stamina. Andre Bishop as White Cooper is landing punch after punch against that cut eye. He can get a TKO victory here if that continues. I'm gonna get knocked out again, but I have no stamina to fight in the next round. It's not gonna be any better either. There's no point. Now I got an immediate counterpunch. That's gonna get counterpunch. He's connecting them. That's the issue. He's throwing body shots. moments of this round good block by Andre Bishop look at that bro he has no like stamina more of that and round six comes right, to I just end. got him full send in there I can't care anymore I'm gonna probably lose anyways and rage quit again Keep it up. Andre Bishop's going out there after just being knocked down in the last round. If you're standing opposite him, what's the mentality? What's the strategy here? Well, you want to go after him, but you don't want to walk okay. into a trap Stay either. Back. You want to kind of size him up a little bit. You want to see if he looks like he's okay, but at the same time, keep in your mind that he might be trying to con you. You know you hurt him, so put that pressure he on. He is just rocking through my guard, bro. That's where you want to be. Took a shot, now he gives a left. Are Boom. you left fucking serious, home. bro? Yeah, knock me out again through the guard too. That's a crazy guard, right? Andre oh. Bishop needs to be so careful right now that the ref doesn't stop that fight because Cooper is landing punch after punch against that cut eye. Oh, Bro, I can't. Now I'm out of range quick. Yep. Part two. Teddy, I think he's Another range quick. I can't, yo. I swear they don't give them stamina. I'm just getting it. Yeah, all right, I see. That scored the knockdown. Three, four, stay yep. up, stay up. So Bishop gets up and beats the count, but now comes the critical time. I have no stamina anyways. I'm about to go right back down. He has to survive, kill a little bit of time, and understand why he got put down in the first place so he don't make the same mistake. This fight is, is, is stupid. The bell rings, signifying the I quite literally want to come back out here with less stamina and still get knocked out again. There's no point. The start of a new now that, now that things do the things do say, Alright, I'm about to play, bro. This is fucking pissing me off. Well, if there was a mercy rule like there is in Little League Baseball, 
Guess what? I didn't even press it. I hate how the upper front goes. Oh, I'm fine. Right there. He Nothing I can do. All right, I'm done, bro. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. He has gone on the attack against that cut over the eye of Andre Bishop. He's trying to earn himself a TKO victory here. Now that looks like a middleweight fighting a heavyweight there. Look at the hand speed from Bishop. And that's exactly the advantage he was going to need coming into this fight to beat the bigger man. Cooper putting out that jab. You can see the trouble that Bishop has had with it. Oh, he turns it over right into a hook. Locked in, bro. That was a good round for Andre Bishop. He just went out there and controlled everything. And he did it fundamentally, too. He used the jab. He set up the body attack. He did it like a good, solid fighter. Bishop snapping that jab. Have a boy! Overhand right can be so effective. Here's a moment here as you see the step back counter punch where you realize this is the sweet science, not just some raw savagery swinging out there. Look at the little subtleties here, Joe. What he does is he forces them into a position to stop the punch. And then when he stops, steps back, makes a miss, and comes right back. Bishop's hand speed is right now the difference. Teddy, you got faster hands, you're halfway home. Yeah, that's a great, great asset to have, is to be able to do that. But there is a way to negate it, to counter it, and that's to time the punches. Timing can beat speed. 90 seconds to go here in this round. Watch the hook! What a hook by Andre Bishop! <laughs> See, this is exactly what Andre Bishop's corner has been telling him. You got to keep those hands up. You have to protect that cut. He cannot allow Cooper to have a target to go after. This is a real concern now for Andre Bishop as Dwight Cooper is landing punch after punch against that cut eye. He could get a TKO victory here if that continues. <laughs> Ten seconds to go in this third round. Take it Great off. combination from Bishop. And this round comes to an end. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Andre Bishop. Cooper's not throwing the power punches, Teddy. What would you say to him? Well, first of all, I would say to him, what do you think, that he's going to make a deal with you? If you don't hit him hard, he won't hit you hard? No, no, it doesn't work like that, my friend. He's going to get confidence now. He's going to take advantage of this. Bishop now utilizing that jab against Cooper. And now targeting his opponent with the overhand right. That's it, just like that. Cooper's left working well that time. Jump on. Nice. Very effective with the block and then the score. Pulls the trigger right away with the When I do it, it's a problem. Big punch just crashes home on Andre Bishop. The only good thing is he's been here before. With all that amateur experience, he has been hurt before. He knows how to behave. What guts by Andre Bishop to survive that and now to move on. Here's one for you now, he says, right back with the left hand. Solid right by Andre Bishop. It's one thing for the corner of Andre Bishop to tend to that cut between rounds. Bro, but Bishop himself 
has to protect it, and he's doing a good job of blocking punches that are targeting it for Cooper. Up top with the right hand. Andre Bishop needs to be so careful right now Fuck that being the careful. ref doesn't stop that fight. I'm recording for fucking 30 minutes. Because Cooper is shit. landing punch after punch against that cut eye. You know, Bishop's opponent has set a pretty good pace here tonight, and I don't think Bishop has reacted well to it. He's fading a bit. Yeah, he's got his mouth open a little bit. There's two problems there. One, you're telling your opponent, I'm tired. The other is you have your mouth open. That's a loose joint now. You get hit on the jaw, you can get a broken jaw. Cooper's giving his opponent headaches here now. He's throwing punches, but he's able to block them away. A well-placed left hand up top. You can see Andre Bishop now is employing a lot of defense. He has those hands up high trying to protect that cut eye. Stay away from those. Come on. Oh, and he's got something for him himself, okay. and it's a Let's left go. hand. A good block. Oh, hands up, hands up. Blocks away that headshot. He got a lot into that uppercut. Nice work by Cooper. A crushing two-punch combo by Andre Bishop. Bishop's giving us a taste of some of that you athletic ability. That yeah, I'm noticing, like, there. he's not even getting rocked, bro. And his opponent, though, like, I haven't now rocked him have once. to show us that he can do what something am I fucking doing wrong, to bro. sort of, you know, adjust to this, to counter this. And that's going to be controlling range and timing. I'm counter-punching. I'm throwing power punches at the right time. This man is not getting stumbled. Final ten he's not seconds. getting rocked. The other day when we were talking to Andre Bishop, he said to have success in this Great fight, work. I have bro, this to land about to me off, bro. He He's just not there. getting knocked and or rocked at all. I'm throwing mad punches at him. I want to rage quit so bad. This is about to piss me off, bro. I've been rocked like four times in the span of two fights, and he hasn't been rocked once, bro. Not once. I'm counter punching. I'm throwing the right punches at the right time. Thank you, bro. Fuck. Throw them punches, bro. And he fucking comes back and survives. I'm a. You know, his opponent's doing a good job of just being patient now and looking for that one good shot. Well, you know, the landscape of this hands business, up, the history of this up. business is littered with guys that they've had someone hurt, they get a little... I didn't know what I did when I stunned him right there. You better watch out that he doesn't think get put on that I was landscape. fucking throwing. <laughs> now I'm going to be headhunting because I had him rock a little bit. Blocking ability. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Andre Bishop. Cooper's blocking ability is doing well for him there. Right, this is the point where he just stops blocking me yet. Yeah, my punch is doing nothing to him. Bro, I'm gonna fly, bro. Like, he just took a he's not even blocking punch. at some point, and there's a point my punches aren't doing anything. The only way right now is to grab on a little bit, stop this flow. Well, he's sending more than one at him now. The combo to the head. Did you so, see that? I'm gonna kill. Oh my goodness, this game is so fucking annoying. He's gonna try to survive it. Stamina doesn't exist for the AIs. I don't even want to play this fight. I've been recording for almost 40 minutes. I'm about to break my controller over this bitch ass game. Oh fucking man, this guy doesn't like even get—he doesn't, doesn't get stunned, bro. Okay, bro, I'm going second. Make it. You're gonna go down. I'm going down. I'm gonna jump off. Yeah, it's confidence. Gives him a little momentum, and it also shows you his amateur background. I mean, he showed you that he can do things inside and outside. Hundreds of amateur fights will teach you that. Cover up! Cover up!
Bishop's got to prove a few things here. Number one, he's got to prove to his opponent that he's on good ground after being knocked down in the last round. But he's also got to prove it to the referee, too. Yeah, he does. And his corner. Because his corner, I just noticed, they put that towel over their shoulder. So they know the condition their fighter's in. They know their responsibility. And they're ready to act on it. Yeah, I've seen this, right? Like, standing, if I throw more than that many punches, I'm going down, bro. It's crazy. They trade shots. He comes back with a right hand. One, two jabs up top. Oh. And now just wasting away some time with that clinch. Good look at right hand after he got hit. Just like that, just like that. Do my punches have no power? Like, I just upper right hand, bro. I have basically no stamina there. Well, supposed to be fighting, but instead he's hugging. Go ahead, dude. Waste the time, but I really don't even care. I have no stamina, so it's not like I'm doing anything to you. Last 10 seconds. I'm about to fucking fry my tail. This is pissing me off, bro. Andre Bishop will need to do more of that. Bishop is very conscious of the fact that he does not want to get tagged hard. He blocked well there. In and out. In and out. Cooper's able to land a nice, clean left hand. Takes one, but gives one. Good work by Andre Bishop. Unload. Unload. More punches. Blocks the headshot. Keep your head moving. Close the jam. Keep working the body. Cooper's combination punching is working well here. Great movement to get away from those punches. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by Andre Bishop. I'm blocking. Is the game gonna register that? A little give and take, table? and here comes the left hand. Andre Bishop is in a bad spot right now. 